this man that now I can be over this man. Because now she feel like she had a right to have that same kind of power when now I'm understanding God said I'm still giving you the power but you just got to help him. But see, God said what's in us? Well, we want to be something that he ain't told us to be yet. Hear me say yet. It's not that God did not call you. It's not that God did not anoint you. But say process. You got to go through the process where he got to peel you. He got to prune you. He got to cut off the bad way. He got to cut off the wickedness. He got to break those generational curses. He got to do what he got to do in you. But you say, I want my right now. I ain't never seen nobody want to make a cake in 20 seconds. Even with the little ease of bake oven, you got 12 minutes. And then if you, I remember having one of those little girl, and then the cake still don't taste that good. <laughs> you like, well, dog, no, it might need to put this in the oven a little more. So how in the world we don't talk to a microwave generation where steam, people are getting raised up. They just got saved today. Now God calling them to preach. Come on here, that's a lie. You got to learn to submit. You got to learn to say and know the ways of the Lord. How can you preach about somebody you don't know? Well, Paul did it, but you don't understand. Paul was a student of the word. Even though he thought that he was working for God, what he was doing, but he knew the laws. He knew. So, but that's the part we left out. Now I've been in the streets. Come on here. You say if God can't do that, yeah, God can do it. But really, do you really know are you really that submitted to God that you know the difference when God's saying something or not saying something? Come on. We got to be taught because your, your mindset got to be you transformed. And see, that's the problem with in the body, in the church. We want to do what we want to do and not allow God to train us. Not allow God to deliver us. Not let God raise us up. Well, I don't want to be a usher. I want to teach. Well, I got a problem with that. Because you first got to learn how to serve first. If you don't want to then if you sit up here where well, I'm serving but I really don't like it, you still got the wrong spirit. Now understand that God can't do nothing with you because you being rebellious and you said I'm doing this but I don't want to do it. See God is looking at your heart. It said that Jesus, he was a servant. But we got people want to get the mic but don't want to serve. You got to understand as a leader I ain't going to do nothing that I won't ask you to do. If I ask you to pray, I'm going to be out here praying too. If I ask you to clean, I'm going to be out here cleaning too. Everything that I ask you to do, you're going to see me do it in one capacity or another. But we don't got trained and we don't see people do it in church where I'm on the ride and that's why I ain't got to do it. When you don't forgot what serving really was. Come on. Because when you serving, that means you giving up yourself. Come on here. Even when you don't want to. Come on here. Because you got people want to give to the homeless during Christmas and Thanksgiving. Don't you think no folks hungry? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yes. But we just want to serve during the holiday season. Now understand that they want to eat every day like you want to eat every day. Yes. But we have, we so call up, I'm ready to preach the gospel. No, you ain't. Because if you were ready to preach the gospel, you would be out here doing it anyway before anybody called your name. You will be preaching when, when you're talking to your family, when you're out in the street. You will be talking to the goodness of the Lord. But we want to do it with a microphone. We want to do it on a Sunday morning. We want to do it on a Bible study. Not understanding. God said, I'm trying to show you your motive. It says here, it says, he told Eve... He said that, he said, then the servant said, verse 4 said, then the servant said to the woman, you will not surely die. So he telling her, no, you ain't going to die if you eat from that garden. God ain't going to separate from y'all. That's what he was telling her. God ain't going to disconnect from y'all. Come on. Well, you know when you go in that bathroom, pastor ain't going to call you. That just in your mind. Now you know you don't even think like that. So you know if God was showing you, because He was trying to prepare you, but you said, No, she ain't gonna call me. He ain't gonna call me. 
It says, verse 5, for God knows that in the day you shall eat of it, your eyes shall be open. And you will be like God. See, that was the thing right there with Eve. She wanted to be like God. She wanted to be like Adam. Because the Bible says he created mankind in the likeness and image. He created them. See, it showed that she did not have a revelation of God. She was operating in the work of the flesh. Not understanding that God already had gave her authority. He already gave her power. But she had to learn to submit upon her husband. But because she said, I want to be over him. Not understanding, she still had that same authority. But in her mind, she wanted to be bigger than him. And so it said when her eyes become, he said, you should, your eyes shall be open. In other words, that no longer will you be looking at it like you got to be on the side of him. But now I want to be a God like God. I want to be on the same equal with Adam. That's what she was saying. And then that's what the enemy do to us. He want to put us in a place where you can be like the leader. You can be like your supervisor. You trying to tell your supervisor how to do the job. Now they've been there 10 years. I'm not saying you can't give a suggestion, but you know, sometimes you need to just shut up. You trying to tell these people how to run their job. You trying to argue with them. This is the policy. I think we need to do it like this. It'll be different if they ask you how to do it. But if they don't say anything, be quiet. And if you really want, you really feel like you got something to help, ask God. God, touch their heart. Give me an opportunity where I can share it. That's how you really know if you really genuinely 